We've seen how simple and fast it is to paint a 3D stylistic environment in Blender. We've created a layer of color which has its own luminosity and isn't affected by external light sources. In practice, our animating camera will move only slightly from left to right, allowing this environment to produce a good 3D effect. Click this button to exit the painting mode and to re-enter object mode. Left clicking on the object selects it. Press H on the keyboard to hide this background. With our cursor located at the center of the scene, press Shift A to add a circle. Press S on the keyboard and move your mouse to scale the object outward. Press Tab on the keyboard to see the object in edit mode. Then press F on the keyboard to fill it with faces. Press Tab to re-enter object mode, then press G on your keyboard to raise this slightly above the grid. Press Tab to re-enter edit mode, then press W several times to add subdivisions to these faces. Press Tab to re-enter object mode. Press this chisel icon to enter sculpting mode, then press Sculpt dynamically. Press the spacebar to choose your sculpting tools. Choose Clay Strips from the menu. To obtain more definition from this brush, raise the strength value and lower the auto smooth value to zero. Begin by painting the distant mountains and hills. As you sculpt your terrain, continually rotate the view with the middle mouse button to get a varied perspective on what you're doing. Since the focal point of our scene will be in the center, leave that till last. By pressing Z on the keyboard, you can see the wireframe view and how much extra geometry we've been adding. Once we've blocked out these areas, press spacebar and choose the grab tool. The grab tool will help us create extra relief and detail. Press X to scale the brush and zoom the view in to get sharper details. For this particular scene, imagine the Arizona desert. Press X on the keyboard to scale the brush to a large size. Then move the mouse upward to create the central boulder. If any detail looks too pointy, Zoom the view in and hold the control key down and just click once. Press the spacebar and from the sculpting tools choose the clay strips tool again. Move the detail slider to the left to obtain more detail as we sculpt the boulder itself. Here, on the surface of the boulder, we're creating the illusion of layers of strata. Press Z at any time to see how much extra detail is being added to the scene. Believable strata is composed of orderly layers, but not too orderly. Make sure to add eccentricities here and there. In the end, we'll only be using about a three-quarter view of the boulder and the scene, so don't bother sculpting too much on the back of anything. Lowering the detail slider to the left, as well as reducing the size of the brush, then holding down the shift key allows you to cut detail into the boulder.
Continue using the same clay strips brush to produce fallen rocks at the foot of the boulder. Open the Tools menu with the space bar and choose the Grab tool again. Both distance from an object and the size of the brush affect how much the geometry will be altered. Choose the clay strips brush again to add the final detail to the scene. Use the grab brush and finalize your sculpture. Also use it to raise the stones at the base of the boulder. Feeling satisfied with the result, the last step is to apply the detail. This may take some time, 